our work session on December 11, 2018 to order. Looks like the only thing that we have on there is the 2019-2020 school calendar. Anybody have anything? No. One question. I'll try and get it. It was what, Donna says, though? Okay, well, I want to add um, the new policy talking about the uniform grading policy. Just mention it um, because I saw it tonight, and if Ms. Um, Eldridge has anything to add to this policy or explain it any better than she's here. And Ms. Vanessa Perry. Okay. Is there anything else that we need to add? Uh, I don't really have anything to add, uh, so I'll do mine in hand. I don't have anything to add. I just got to give a notification. Okay. I just, it might not even pretend to uh, have anything to do with the school calendar, but a lot of the teachers this year was concerned about not getting their pay. I know it fell wrong this year for a fall break, and I'd like to see us be able to pay them their money, whatever, if we can, before fall break before they get off. This year, it just fell wrong. I don't know how many years it's ever been before that. Yeah. Yeah. Probably been a long time, but I'd like for us to I know how it would be if they want to go on vacation and have no money. Yeah. So, look at the that, 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 that won't be a problem next year. Yeah, I'll really take it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for future, for future generations down the road. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to see us have that in there. Okay. change since that time. We had voted on a scale that included a 0.75 for statewide dual credit classes. The state put out a policy in September that done away with that 0.75 but gave all early post-secondary classes a full one point. So TCAT classes, dual enrollment, anything that's considered early post-secondary can be worth five points. So that just helps more students. So what we'll do is add this to the agenda to have Second reading, two reading, two reading. So we'll be adding it to the agenda for those. I have a question. Will this, which set of students, will this affect this year's graduating class? Well, since we had already voted on it, like at high school, we had already. I mean, and I, I mean, I'm sorry if I'm negligent, but I thought since we had voted on it twice, but some. So no, I thought that put it in policy, so we had actually put it out to students and they're prepared for the Latin system. We did both last year. We did the Latin and the ranking. <coughs> this year's class is expecting us not to rank for both Latin. Uh, but that, that's why I understood, and that's what I thought. That's what we had said. We Most of us did. And <laughs> we, the board, did approve that August 2017. Yeah. <laughs> Use right. the go to the Latin ranking system. Yeah, I don't think there was no negligence on anybody's part. Just not putting it false. Right. I mean, they're ready to go, so we just need to do the documentation for uh, The Alumni Association has agreed to pay for the medals. The Latin Honor System medals were quite expensive last year to the tune of $10 a kid, and we had 50 to 60 kids earn Latin Honors last year. Of course, only 10 earned the gold medal, which is the top one. But 
that was going to be a pretty big expense, but the alumni association has voted to take care of that for us as long as they're in existence. So. Okay, any more discussion about that? Uh, yes, while we're on discussion, yeah. about that. Yeah. Is that something, and I'm very proud that alumni association does that. What if we hit a class that has 50 kids in there? You know, with our school with Grove, that's something that we may have to look into the future is to fund it, which it's not going to be a major expense. It's, that's not something someone else should pick up because the kids are doing well. I mean, that's, in my opinion, that's our baby, so to speak. In so, my opinion, we have that many that meets that criteria. If we have exactly, exactly. Ten bucks a person. <clears throat> If it does come to that, um, is there anything else? That, any more discussion on these two items that we have? Good. Uh, uh, the only thing I have is, sorry, I was talking. The only thing I have, and I've got my notes somewhere, uh, we will have a budget committee meeting next month after our work session it just be a quick 10 15 minute meeting uh, and if we could then uh, that night if we can get an up-to-date uh, comp time with us and, uh, and I don't recall myself Ricky my case who else is on the budget committee there's four of us there's one more is the officer coming in the office Office to put on the building. He's on the building committee. Right here, we're thinking about that. Uh, Jarman, Mike Gilpatrick, Ricky Dodson, and Mike Hayes. So, like I say, it'll just be a quick 10 15 minute meeting. Yes, as soon as we get done with our work session. And January the 7th at 3 30 at the high school, right, we plan to be meeting with. Uh, John Taney over there at the football field. So uh, if anything changes, I'll let you know. But Dr. Winningham, I'll get with you a few days before so we can double check on Mr. Taney to make sure he's still here. Yeah, I talked to him the other day. Uh, he, is, he has that on his calendar. Okay. 3.30 January 7th. And next month's uh, meeting will be on January the 8th. Is that correct? January 8th at 6.30. Okay, with all of that, if there's nothing else, I'll take a motion to adjourn. I do. Motion by Rick Dawson. <laughs>